saw hashtag Nkandla popped up on my timeline this past weekend. After former COO of the SABC, Shawudi, Mr. That Thing, Mutsuning paid a visit to the former president, Jacob Zuma, at his homestead in Kandla. He is the latest of a growing list of political figures who have made a trip down to KZN to see the former president. And as you would have guessed it, Twitter streets were abuzzed with reactions about <laughs> this visit. So we had at dollar underscore Masha, uh, Mashesha saying, Kandla is where matters of national importance are <laughs> discussed. It's the new Lutuli house and union building combined. <laughs> I mean, it wow. kind of looks like that. <laughs> uh, we've got Nikki underscore KK2. Jacob Zuma should start a talk show called T and Kandla. I would watch that. I would I definitely watch that. Would watch yeah. that. Mm, I would yeah. definitely watch yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And now, everybody, so now everybody wants to know what exactly happens in the grand compound of Inkandla. Mm. Is there a glorious feast with music and dance? <laughs> Is it the event to attend? But most importantly, how does one crack an invite to this gathering? Well, TSL, TSA has you covered. TSA's guide to cracking an invite to Inkandla. Inkandla? 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 Kind of sounds like Coconut Cows. <laughs> so if you're going to get an invite to Nkandla, you obviously need to be provocative. You know, you need to get the people going. You have to be someone like Ace Mahashule, a friend, a comrade, and obviously quite scandalous. <laughs> also, also that visual here, it's quite, it's quite intense. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's, it's really, yeah. It looks like it's fighting. Oh. 100%. So how about Tunomvula Mokonyane? I mean, they don't call her mama action for nothing. Mm. Bam. Yizo, yizo. I mean, actually, and I love that she's the kind of lady that will bring some booze and some bribe packs as well. Remember that whole 100%. thing? 100%. <laughs> I've got someone, someone who's loved by others and loathed by others. Tuli Matunzela. She would spice things up there in Kandla. You know, she would go there and then the former president will deny that she was there and then she will take out a recording, you know. That's how their relationship I, has been. Shady. I don't know if she spice up, but I can just say I like her braids. That's all. Well, wow. That's all. Wow. Anyway, let's move on. So once you have the controversial side of things, you obviously need to travel in style. Say maybe Kelsey's chopper or a fleet of cars like Julius. You need to make an entrance. I am here for this entrance, honey. And you know what? You ain't got to be like me. You don't have to worry at all about style, okay? Just take a leaf out of Mzandi Lemassina's book and wear something rather um, comfortable. That is disrespectful. Yeah. It's very disrespectful. This is a dinner party or a tea party. That is, ah, come on. Uh, I mean, it's not a high tea. <laughs> it's just the tea. It just looks like high tea in the other side. And of course, guys, <laughs> people need to eat, right? So bring groceries like Ututumia and it did, perhaps as a gift. I want to know, what would you guys bring as a gift if you went to Ankanda? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Uh, cows, I guess. That's what he likes, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what else I'd bring. I mean, also a dictionary and a calculator because I think... Wow, wow, wow. I would actually bring a fire extinguisher. So that we don't waste the water from the fire pool. Hectic. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we've been following this next story quite closely. Since disgraced DJ and your entrepreneur Euphonic deliberately released his rape accuser's personal information online. And last week, hashtag believe her popped up on the timeline after a group of activists and celebrities picketed outside the Sunday World office. This comes after their journalist peddled lies and wrote an inaccurate article about a victim who is currently accusing DJ Fresh and euphonic of rape. Mm. SMH. So GBB activist Kupeni was actually there as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then she explained Uguti why they were there. Yeah. And so what are we, you know? Okay, cool. So there were a lot of accusations that were made on that video. So we all saw it. True. And we are now joined by a representative from Wise for Africa, Onika Makwakwa, to talk about the list of demands that they handed over to the Sunday world and how publication houses can help alleviate the scourge of GBV in the country. Mm -hmm. Hi, Onika. Thank you for joining oh, us on you. Trending. So the publication <laughs> has since issued a wordy apology uh, since the protest that took place last week. So what did you make of this apology and do you think it's enough to remedy any of the damage caused? You know, it, it can never be enough, uh, but it's a good start. Uh, we are, though, continuing to engage with them as well as with the press ombudsman because it's really important that we root, we get to the root of 
you know, this uh, rape culture in reporting of GBV uh, news. So, so yeah. yes, it's, it's okay. We accept the apology, but it's, um, you know, it doesn't end there. There needs to be better accountability. Speaking of which, Anika, now that you've handed over the memorandum of demands to the publication, what is the ultimate outcome that you're hoping for? You know, and how would how would that become the benchmark to deal with other similar incidents perpetuated by media houses in the future? You know, one of the things we said on Thursday is that Sunday World has an opportunity to really change the narrative and be an example for other media houses in terms of how we begin to approach GBV reporting. Uh, I think that the crux of this issue is really victimizing uh, those who come out, uh, you know, the survivors who come out to report uh, these incidents. Right. And therefore, uh, they have an opportunity to engage uh, with the matter, to look at our national strategic plan in terms of what it calls for for uh, in a victim-centered uh, culture where, you know, we are not uh, starting by not believing women. I think it's really important for us uh, in dealing with these issues to start by believing women. Yeah. If we have a chance of changing this 60% under-reporting mm -hmm. uh, of GBV, especially on sexual offenses. And, you know, Sunday World is a microcosm of our society. So how the media treats and doesn't believe women is actually an example and also informs how society deals with victims when they do come up. And if we continue in this way, which victim would actually openly come out and state that they've been violated? Thank you so much, Onika, for joining us.